Hey, sixth graders, happy Balloon Dog Day. I hope you learned a lot this week as we set up our first real arc. And uh, I noticed some people raising their standards and some people learning some new things. So let's go ahead and take a look at the prompt. On Monday, when we first saw Twinkie popping balloons, I asked you to do a couple of things. The biggest ones were to notice what was going on and also wonder. Here's some of my favorite noticings. The dog went in a square and then zigzag. That's from Cora. I kind of thought the same thing. Um, I noticed that too. I noticed that the dog popped 25 balloons in five seconds. A lot of people had that. That's a great noticing too. That's from Dylan. I noticed that Twinkie is going to, in line to line as a strategy to pop as many balloons as possible. That's what Sawyer thought, and I wondered that too. I connect that notice with um, what Cor said. I noticed the dog popped 25 balloons so far, and 25 is a quarter of 100. Interesting notice. Gracie also made a conjecture there, an idea about the things she, she noticed. How many balloons he is popping in a second? That's something that Caleb thought he noticed, but that's something that's changed and it was hard to calculate. So when we notice things, we uh, find the important information and bring ideas to light. I also asked you to wonder. So some of my favorite wonderings were, I wonder if the dog will make his goal. That's kind of the central question. If you weren't wondering that, um, you're going to get to Caleb's, my last thing that I, I'm going to share if the dog went in a straight line. So Trant kind of goes with the wonderings from the other side. If you will get tired. Cheyenne asked that question. It was one of the central ideas about how this is a different math assignment than you've probably ever done before because there was an obvious answer that I think a lot of third graders and fourth graders would have got, but it turns out that it was wrong because of what Cheyenne wondered way back on Monday. I wonder what my strategy will be for this. That's from Miles. And I didn't know if he was talking about the dog strategy again, like we were talking a little while ago, or if he was going to try to figure out how he would do it. Why is he doing it? Another central question. I think it's just because of what he does. When we wonder, we make conjectures. We have ideas talking about a straight line or whether he'll get tired. That changes the way we look at problems. So uh, I think that this video will answer the problem the, or answer that question. This is Anastasia, Twinkie's mom. And we're going to see some crazy things about this dog. And you tell me if you think it's all planned out, the route that the dog's going to take. That's training. All right. So I hope that answers your question. These dogs are not going in a pattern or to be efficient in any way. They are just crazed balloon popping machines. So without further ado, here's the answer. You're going to see two screens side by side. On the left hand side, you're going to see Twinkie popping balloons. On the right hand side, you're going to see a concurrent graph that's going to help you know what's going on. So here's an answer to part of the answer to the question. In 10 seconds, tw uh, Twinkies popped 43 balloons. And you could see, which is just about on pace. If it were 10 seconds, it should be 50. But you can see uh, she's not really following a pattern. She's just popping balloons.
20 seconds, which was a, most people's predicted answer. And you know, I've been honest with a lot of you, especially if you stop by my office hours, that that was the answer I figured most people would get. And uh, so that's a clearly a three point answer because you did follow the ratio table. However, you can see what's gonna happen. It's getting harder as Twinkie gets more tired, the balloons are getting farther apart as well. So there's other variables that maybe some people talked about. And also you're seeing that the line isn't a straight line. It's starting to curve because she's slowing down. So she's at uh, 70 balloons in 20 seconds. That's a long time, Aline. Yeah! <laughs> so congratulations for, to Twinkie for setting the new world's record in 39 seconds. Also congratulations to Ethan for his outstanding work in thinking together. This was a tough one. I, was, I looked at your jam boards and he has an outstanding jam board. There, there were a couple of really great ones. Um, this is Ethan's Jamboard. You can see here his thinking as he made his graph. There were some things he didn't know how to do that I think a lot of kids learned how to do um, with graphics. He didn't like this, so he made his own ratio table. So you can see some things that people wrote about it. So congratulations. Uh, I also considered these people who were uh, investing in Ethan and looking at his work too, but um, it was close between Ethan and another student until I saw this. This was on another student's work. He said, this may make me change my answer. This is reasonable answer with plenty of evidence from Ethan. And I just thought, man, that is perfect. I love his Jamboard, but I also love the comments, the quality comments that he left for um, other kids in his class. If we'll learn from each other, we can go a long way. Congratulations also to Titan uh, for his mathematical representations. I wanna show you this. As I mentioned with Ethan's, um, a lot of people did some changes. Titan used some graphics. Uh, he completed, he, he did something interesting that I saw in three or four other kids. Um, yeah, he has the three point answer, the 20, but I don't really care about that. It shows a lot of thinking. He didn't answer, I thought this was interesting. He questioned three, he didn't answer about the unit rate, but he used the unit rate to get from 75 to 100 he reasoned that every five seconds, it would go up by one. And so you can see he used that reasoning right there. I wish he would have put it in words, but this isn't an award for words. This is a word for the graphics. He made his, uh, he changed the title here. He got units. He has the intervals. He has all of that. So balloons, pop, uh, popped balloons, um, and then a straight line that uh, I really liked. So congratulations to you, um, Mr. Titan. This is so funny to me. I forgot to write this on, on here. And I just heard uh, Ms. Berg talking about going home over there. I think I need to go home. So uh, this person here doesn't even know. I know who it is. It's Cora. And um, congratulations, Ms. Cora. And he, I want to read you this because I think it's really important. This is what a quality explanation looks like. Right? Will Twinkie break the record? Instead of just saying yes or no, like a lot of people, because and then restating the uh, the obvious, she, um, I wonder if I can read this. Nope. Whoops. She said, I think she will break the world record. She can pop 25 balloons in, per five seconds. If she count, continued popping 100 balloons at that speed, she would pop 100 balloons in 20 seconds. That was my first conclusion. Then she showed up to office hours and I, she, she talked to some other people. Then I realized, that, I realized that Twinkie was going to get tired after popping balloons for a little while. When Twinkie gets tired, that causes her to slow down. If Twinkie pops 25 balloons in the first five seconds, I am going to say she will pop one less balloon in her next five seconds because she gets tired. Then she even proved it here. I'm just going to read the second part. You can see that she showed her reasoning in, um, she created a second uh, a ratio table. 
My second ratio table shows that Twinkie is a dog and dogs get tired. When Twinkie gets tired, that causes her to slow down. If Twinkie pops 25 balloons in the first five seconds, I'm going to say that she will pop one less balloon in the next five seconds because she's getting tired. In her next five seconds after that, she will top, pop two less balloons because she's getting more tired. So she even came up with a formula. And finally, at the beginning, it is a five balloons per second. That's the unit rate. That's what I ask for. But then she even calculated with her new conjecture. At the end, it will be two balloons per second because every five seconds she's slowing down and popping one balloon less. By the end, she will be popping balloons less every five seconds. And you can see that she came up with, by using her reasoning, 35 seconds. The answer was 39 seconds. This is brilliant reasoning, and congratulations, Cor. That's fabulous. So I would just like to say congratulations to everyone who worked hard and learned, and we'll see you next week for a very scary math arc.